Night Bible uh, three years ago from uh, one Richard Lopez. Um, I received this Bible three years ago when I first came to FCA. Um, I received this Bible my freshman year when I first came to FCA. I received my Bible about a year ago from now, I think. Uh, I received my Bible, my first one, two years ago, and then I got a second FCA Bible as a gift for being a speaker at an FCA breakfast last year during the festival. Um, freshman year of college. Yeah, that was my first Bible I've ever had. Uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, it's a group that meets weekly um, to kind of talk and discuss things about the Bible and kind of introduce people into faith or kind of help them establish their faith even more. I am actually the campus director for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and uh, the chapter players on the football team and chapter players on the baseball team. I, think I, I like to make them available for our athletes because just the opportunity they have every day to have a daily devotional because I know their, their schedules are so crazy and if they can spend five minutes in, in the Bible and just kind of a word for the day, a scripture for the day and some questions to kind of challenge throughout the day. I think it just puts a, a, an athlete in a great position where they can not only be challenged on the field, but they can be challenged in everyday life. My Bible helps me in my sport because the devotionals in the back um, of this Bible specifically are really tailored towards athletes. So um, I think there's always a passage that can help apply to everything that athletes are going through. Um, this Bible means a lot to me. I've had a lot of Bibles growing up, but this one's so personal, especially as an athlete and having the devotions in it, this is the first devotional Bible I've ever owned. So I really believe that if I can get a Bible in every athlete's hand, it's going to change their life for the better. It's going to make them better athletes, it's going to make them better students, and it's going to allow their lives to be, be more prepared for their future. In season, uh, I have a lot of time to uh, kind of reflect on my week, uh, my practice in upcoming games in, uh, in weekly FCA uh, meetings. Uh, and that's really a time for me to kind of look back on how God has, has had a role in my life. Actually, November 6th of last month, 2015, I read a verse that completely summed up all my struggles I've been going through in one. I was like, whoa, like, this is crazy. I didn't even mean to read it. I just kind of opened it up, and that was the first thing that popped out to me. It was Matthew 6, 25. You know, you're feeling down, you're feeling depressed. For me, at least, going to bed, reading the Bible, praying to God, just talking to Him, really helps me move on and just move forward. So that's why I believe that in fact, man, my passion is to have an, every athlete on this campus to have an FCA Bible. Not because it's FCA, but because it's a sports New Testament, Old Testament, and the daily devotions are for athletes so they can relate to it. So I think that's why I have such a passion to make sure that we make these available for all of our athletes here at the UA.